in Quest for Vape, doing a follow-up video for the eFest Luke Blue 6 charger. This is the charger with six bays that also has Bluetooth capability that you can access from your Android and now iPhone or iOS tablet uh, that, that is the Apple operating system. And I just got that and I've been using it for the last couple of days, so I wanted to do a follow-up and show you how the app works. Uh, the first thing I'll say is I'm pretty pleased with it. I'm happy with it. And unfortunately, I'm using a webcam to record this, and it's it's crappy, and I apologize. But I have to be able to show you on my iPhone. I can't record this video because i got to show you stuff on my iPhone. So far, the best camera I have found is my iPhone 6 for recording videos. Anyway, this is the app. You go, on, you go online to im22.net. You download that app. If I could record, if I could focus, it would be great. Anyway, you click this thing. It says install effect, and then your phone's not going to like it. It's going to say, uh, this is not a trusted site, so you're going to have to ignore that or just download it anyway if you want the app. I'm just letting you know that's what it showed me. I installed it. I had no problems. If you go to Imran's site, they they actually, eFest Power, they go through how to download it and everything, and they tell you, that uh, you'll get a warning that the application is from an untrusted source. So you have to ignore the warning and follow the steps to operate it. Uh, it will work very good by your phones. Sorry, this is efestpower.com, their website. So anyway, that's how, that's how I was able to download the app to my phone. So you saw that. Here's what it looks like on my, right there. By my thumb. That's the eFest app. If you want to open that up, look at that. It's showing me what's going on on each of my charging slots. And it not only shows me the status of each slot in terms of a percentage of the way charge done, uh, but also in volts out to the hundredths place, also 4.08 volts, 4.19%. Uh, 4.19 volts. This is showing me that slot number two is fully charged, so I can pull this one off slot number two. How long does it take to show me? And now that's zero. Okay, let me go ahead, put another battery on there. Sorry, eFest, I, I don't only use eFest batteries. Imran will be very happy to see I'm using their batteries. I'm using some Sony's. I've got uh, these Theoretically, are Max Joes, which were also rewrapped LGs. In theory, who knows what's going on with batteries, really. If you want to know about batteries, go check out Pegasus Vaping Academy. That guy's really smart. Um, all right, so this is the app, and it's showing me the percentage of the way charged to completion for each bay. Uh, it's showing me in volts. It's also got this little sliding uh, arrow that is by color and also distance across the screen. And for some reason, I don't know what that, not all the base shows that arrow. That's okay, it's cute, it's cute. So this is showing me slot number four. It's showing me, this thing does not like to focus. It's showing me down at the bottom here that I'm charging at 0.5 amps. On the same screen, this is really infuriating. This camera will not focus. There you go, 0.5 amps. Now, if I want to increase that, say I want to charge faster. Now I'm charging at one amp or two amps. But and now watch, it's going to come. Assuming that changes, and if this change is not automatic, automatic and immediate. I'm just yeah, see that? It just went. It took a few seconds. It's not an instant thing, and now it's showing me 1,100 milliamps, if it would focus. There you go, 1,000 milliamps. So just letting you know, this thing is not, it's not an instantaneous thing. You, you set it at what you want. I set it for one amp, which is 1,000 milliamps. At first, it, it went up to 1,100, then dropped back down to 1,000. All right, that's fine. So now you can see kind of like the um, the time delay, margin of error, how quickly it corrects itself. All right. 
Let's go back to that screen. All right, this is focusing in pretty nicely. No, it's not. Damn it. Okay. So you guys get the you get the idea. What's supposing I put this one in backwards? I wasn't paying attention. I put my Sony in backwards. Now it shows me, it took a few seconds showing me zero. And it's not charging. And this blue light's not going. Turn it back around. So there's reverse battery protection. It's not going to try and, try and charge the opposite if it's in the opposite way. Okay, so it took a few seconds. Now it's reading it. We're talking about slot number six here, this one. And it's at 45%, 3.65 volts. Now, see how it says 600 milliamps? That's 0.6 amps. Okay, now it's 500. It, it'll do that. It will kind of overshoot a little bit here and there. I also noticed when one of these is close to completion, like this one's at 91%. Even if I, well, I had one at like 96, 97% of the way charged. It was at like 4.16 volts. I said, okay, I want to top it off and I, and I went in there and I bumped it up from a half an amp to one amp. And then what happened was it, it started charging faster and then it kind of backed it down as it approached 100%. So, okay. So see, one amp is 1,000 milliamps. It's showing me it's charging at 1,000 milliamps. Isn't that cool? Now watch back to the main screen where I have all the bays at a glance, it's going to show me slot number four at 900 milliamps. But if we keep watching that, it may show, because look, I think it's reading out an average of what it's charging at. I think at any given moment in time, it's not necessarily putting 500 milliamps or 1,000 milliamps. I think it's showing, like this one, showing 1,100. Like I have slot number four charging at 900 milliamps. Slot number three charging at... Now, why is that? I don't want to be charging a battery halfway through. The only time I would bump it up, okay, that was just to demonstrate to you guys. But I, I don't want to be charging batteries faster than a half an amp or 500 milliamps. See how long it takes to go from 1,000 back down to 500. Okay, if, it takes a few seconds. You guys get the idea. I can scroll through each slot in this presentation view which is like detail view or I can go back to all of them so you don't have to like go back out of this screen to go into another detail screen on a different slot you could just say I'm in slot number six viewing the details I could I could use this arrow here and go to slot number five slot number four slot number three this is pretty cool and it's 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 all done by Bluetooth did I show you this I don't think I showed you this you have to originally go in. Let me get this in focus. There's a little thing where, see, it says disconnected. Why does that say disconnected? Okay. It wants to, it's got to scan your device. So that's how you connect. And that's how the, your phone reads. It's showing me the serial number of this exact Bluetooth. Maybe that's a serial number. Or, or maybe that just indicates a series of whatever, however it's reading it. Somebody geekier than me probably knows what those numbers mean. DC875, whatever, that's probably a batch number. It's reading the device. All right. So that's how that works. Slot number one is at 88%. Slot number two is at 39%. All right, so I forgot. Which one of these did I have charging too fast? I, oh, that's right. Slot number three I had bumped up to 1,000 milliamps. And I really don't need to charge that fast. Let me move it back down to 0.5 amps or 500 milliamps. Let's see how fast it corrects itself. It takes a few seconds. There it is. Now it's at 500. All right. Now I'll go back to the hole. So that's that's the app. It's pretty easy to use. I'm very happy with it. I like to know these details. You know, don't expect perfection out of this, but as overall, it's giving you way more information than 
most chargers, okay? There, there are some chargers. I saw one or two that have as much or more detail as this, but hey, listen, for this and the price, I don't know what this costs retail. I, I got it directly from China. I did pay for it, but I, and I had to pay shipping, and I bought a bunch of EFES batteries while I did it. It's not like they didn't send this to me for free. They could care less about me. They, they don't really need me to review their product, but um, they are very nice, and I, I did convince them. I sweet-talked them to send me this uh, earlier than even the shops got it. I had a review out before it was in retail stores, and, um, and so I do appreciate that. And I was able to do a review video. Now I'm able to show you how the app works so nicely and the kind of details. Now, the, the screen won't slide sideways, so... You know, it's just this is what you get. It's very simple. It's very easy to figure out. Um, there you go. The eFest Luke Blue 6 iPhone app. Enjoy, guys. Thank you so much for watching.